belong in our home No matter what you've gone through, you're not alone I am here to show you love You don't have to do anything, you are enough No, now I am no Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never have to miss any of our episodes. I have not had a vacation or a holiday for quite a number of years. Why? Because we always have kids and it's not easy to travel anywhere because it takes time to get permission. It takes a lot of money, but also you have to think where you want to go. But this year, I really want to change it. After being cooked in a home for two years, I think I want to take my kids somewhere. And so I just got a permission from the VSS, uh, which is the, uh, the governing body that allows us to travel with the kids. So they've approved my travel to Florida. So I'm going to take my kids uh, and have fun. And I'm really excited. I'm not sure how they're going to take it, but man, for me, just getting out of the house, it's really exciting but also exposing my kids to places and things they've never seen before i know travel seems easy or everyone can do it but not more or but not so many of our foster kids they come from places sometimes where they have no opportunity to travel or they've been moving from one house to another but this time i just want to make it normal and fun for them to discover what the world is all about and for them to get to see beyond the boundaries of our house, beyond the boundaries of our town, Charlotte, North Carolina, and really cannot wait to tell them what is about to happen. I know the little ones will be super excited. So, let's get cracking right now. I need to pack, I need to buy things, and uh, oh boy, I'm ready for this trip. I'm ready, I mean totally ready. So guys, I have news. Well, so I talked to someone, you know, the social worker, yeah. and I asked permission to take you somewhere, take you someplace, and it's a surprise. If we could go somewhere in the world, where would you like to go? To Florida. Florida? Why Florida? Because they have a beach there. But before we go, we're going to buy some things. Okay, do you want to go with me? Yes. We're going to prepare Can for... We I don't know. We're going to buy a few I'm, things. I want to I want to buy something where I'm not alone. Wait, wait, so when we go on our vacation, wait, I have something new to wear for the beach. Yeah. All right, let's go in the car. So, guys, we're going to go shopping. I need your help. So, we're going to go to Costco. Uh, what would you like? A new bathing suit. And a new bathing suit. What else? Yeah, me too. I need... Uh, snacks so i don't have to stop buying stuff so i need snacks you need bathing suit you need a lot of we snacks. need food yes we need to buy food so we can buy along yeah, the way yeah. we also need to buy food for simba and rafiki okay. since they are staying behind all right guys let's go so what did you choose a bathing suit a bathing suit is that what you wanted yeah okay because um i wanted it because it has Pink and some sparkles. It has pink and sparkles. And some yellow and some more pink and blue. Yeah. So I choose this one because it kind of looks like my old one. Peter, that green tree, I already have one. You already have this? Yes, I want that. You want this? Yes, not the green one. I like the one that was in front of the green one. Okay, which one? No, it has to be the size. So, your size is six yeah so it has to be like six seven so this is for seven six so we need seven six does it make sense yep. does it make sense seven and six seven and six makes seven two six seven six yes where are the boys right there with the blue you're looking for that thing that she was looking for. Yeah, I'm looking for six, seven, six, seven. 
So you have the green option, I think, and then... You are six, one. seven. Thank you. I was 76. No, you are your size six and seven. Yeah, but this for little ones, see? The size, see the size is for 12, 12 months and 18 months. So we finished shopping at Costco. It's quite a, a journey when you have these two little ones. Yeah, and My we, troublemakers. Hey, yeah, Cole. I see, I see what is there. What? Look here. What? Look at the is we want, Shrimp Shrimpsu now! Is that all you want? Your sim your sim suit? Well, give me mine. Let me show you them. Come on. What did you get? This one. This is my nice sim suit. That's all. Awesome. Yes, uh, I see. I got hey, can we leave them in there because he has to look at them? So, Mister, you know where we're going, right? Florida. Yes. What are we going for? Uh, you never told me. Spring break. Come on. You have no school. Oh yeah. Yes, so here's my question. Are you excited? Uh, kinda, yeah. Yes, I know you don't like long journeys. I really don't. We we'll try to stop every 10 seconds, well, 10 minutes, maybe two hours. We can't promise that. So I know you're parking, so tell me, what are you parking? What's your parking all strategy? All of this, this is all the clothes I'm packing. This is where you, I mean, is that how you lay them down? Uh, yeah. I see you have t-shirts, you have, wear shorts. I don't wear shorts. Okay, you know it's gonna be like 85 degrees the whole time. Okay. So the hoodies? Just in case, you never know. Just in what? Just in case. It's Florida, it's always hot. Okay. I mean like really hot. Okay. I'm human. Okay. Okay. Well, but at least shorts, you know? No. Why? I don't like them. What, you don't like girls seeing your sexy legs? I don't like shorts. Any reasons why? No, I just don't like shorts. You just like shorts. Well, you should lay them out so people can see no, them. I'm good. <laughs> You've okay. never seen me in shorts. So where's your bag? Where's the bag you're gonna use? I don't have a bag. Oh, you need a bag? I need a bag, yeah. Oof. Okay, I'm gonna look for a bag. Wow. Someone is ready. Oh, I forgot my swimming clothes. Yes, yeah, swimming clothes. So what are you looking for? Okay. Is that your bag? Yeah. All right. So where are we going? Right yes. Look, look, look here. I have this bag, but this bag cannot fit everything in it. Yeah, that's so so tiny. So this bag is gonna be for all my gaming stuff. Yes. You need like a duffel bag. Duffel bag. Yeah. Where's the one you used to take? Like, I always took a book bag. So tell me, what are you packing? Uh, shorts, t-shirts. No, but where are we going anyway? We're going to Florida for spring break. Yes, what are you excited about? Florida. Florida. You know, so kids, kids were not high school. These are college kids. When they go to spring break, they do. Yeah, they get wild. So are you getting wild from high school? No. Okay. Tired. You're tired already? So what are you packing? Uh, packing shorts, okay. swim trunks, and t-shirts. What else? That's really it. But these aren't enough shirts, are they? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's two. enough. All right, shorts. Uh, you need to have like one long thing maybe. Just in case we go at a, at a like someone invites us to like a special dinner, you know? Yeah. What is that? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay, uh, what bag are you going to put in for your stuff? Like, no, for your carrying your games and all that. Yeah, that's a little bit larger. Oh, you can take the other one. Look, what's in there? Can you empty that? That little... She's close. Yeah, empty that. Take both. Getting things ready, that means we are good to go. Yeah, put them in your bag. And you need toiletries as well. I know. Toothpaste. Yep. Toothbrush. Yeah, all the good stuff. Yep. Okay. Don't forget your toothbrush. Okay, Simba, we have to go. You have no idea we are living, are you? Rafiki, you wanna come with us? No? Okay guys, get your bags, let's get in the car. Are you all packed? Yo. Anthony? Yeah. Get your bags. All right guys. Simba. Okay, so what are you carrying? What are you taking with you? Am I always supposed to take one of these? Hmm? What are they? Yes. Okay. 
So I've got my clothes on my blanket in here, and then I roll my electronics in here and my switch. Oh, okay. You how? What's in this bag? All my chargers, my computer, and my switch. Hey, Rudy. Ryder, what's your bag? What is in your bag? Um, my clothing and um, all the stuff I need for while we go to the beach. Okay, and you? Um, I got, I packed my swimsuit, um, my goggles, this is and loud. then um, we got um, somewhere packed my clothes. So we are all set to go. He's all right. Well, I bought food, so I didn't have to go stop by. But to make sure that they have everything they need. Oh yeah, cookies, everything. All right. This bag stays up front with me. Okay. You got a can of monsters? Oh yes, because I didn't want to pay $5. Whoa, whose bags are those? The kids. This okay. man got, got a can of monsters so he didn't have to buy anything. Okay, he yeah. got cookies. Okay, hold on, let me first arrange. Just don't. <laughs> yeah. Just don't. You're bad at Tetris, my guy. Which that's basically what this is. You're bad at English. Oh my god, he got the uh circus animals. <laughs> cookies, but it's like sprinkled. Give me that bag. Dude, you actually, you need I know, yeah, no, I'm putting yeah, this back up probably. We're taking the white car, remember? No, we are not taking the white car. Okay, where's uh... Can I grab a monster? Yes. One a day, you can't take all. Take 70, no. I can't open it. Okay, let's arrange no. sit in the car, see how we're gonna sit. Gonna Who's gonna sit right. where? When it was Saturday? I asked him. We have so I'll many just, hours to go. I'm, I'm sitting in the front. I was wanting to sit in the back. No, they're gonna play video games, so you can sit in front, and then it would would change seats later. Okay, so are you sitting there? Cheesecake. Yeah. Okay. Where else? Cheesecake. I'm sitting right here. Okay, you're gonna sit right there. Yeah. Body. Did you bring your? Did you bring your iPads? Uh, no. Did you bring your? Sweater? No, no. Okay, I'll get them. Ooh, who's sitting here? He, he's bringing his heavy blanket. Yep. Weighted blanket. Oh my. So we are heading to Florida. We don't get time to really travel or go around. When you have so many kids and they're in school and you're working, you don't find time to go. But sometimes we make something and go somewhere. And so this weekend, it's spring break. So I thought I would surprise them and take them to Florida. You know, they've never been there. It's a little ways away, but we have friends that love us so much that invited us. So we are going to take a, um, a trip, uh, stop somewhere. I know they're gonna ask me to stop about a million times, but hey, it's all about making memories, you know? And most of our kids don't really get the experience of seeing the world beyond where they are born or from their own county. So I try to do the best I can to really expose them to more than what they know. You know, so I know the trip in Florida is going to be fun. Uh, they're going to go to the water, they're going to swim and, and do things. But also it gives us time to bond. You know, for those six, seven hours in a car, you get to know each other, you get to fight. So we're really excited. So we're about to leave. I'm leaving my dogs behind and it's always sad. Simba, I will find you. I'll get back soon. We'll miss you. So, yeah, ready to go. So you guys loaded up, ready? Yeah. Are you sure you're hungry? Yes. We yes. haven't even left, you're already hungry. Yes. Okay, so where should we stop? McDonald's. Okay, McDonald's it is. Yes. Let the journey begin. Okay, so here's the rule. We'll stop and get, we have a lot of snacks. We can only get drinks. That's okay. a deal. Oh, I don't even need that. You got me drinks. Yeah? Yeah, this is the drink I have. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna get drinks. Hold up. Well, I'm the one driving. I should be the one drinking we're that, right? Though, so. Yes, okay, we're getting breakfast, so. Okay, you all have a drink. All right, so buckle up. Let's go. Let's see how things go. McDonald's! No, I miss Simba. Yeah. I'm gonna go back inside and say hello. What? <laughs>
Yes, I saw that. We're gonna miss them too. So let the journey begin. It's only six hours, I think. So rather than driving all the way through to Florida, we're stopping along the way. So right now we are Charleston, somewhere island. We are on an island somewhere in, in South Carolina. I think it's Sylvanus, Sylvanus, something, something. That's where we are right now. So I thought, you know, to break the long journey to stop along the way. So I got my little ones. As you can see, they have been fun. I don't think they've ever been to the ocean, so they don't know what to take, but they're enjoying it. Yeah. What's going on? He wants me to walk in the water and I'm scared of the ocean. No, it's fine. Like, seriously. I mean, look. What? 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 It's a bot. Yeah, it's a bot. It's a shark. They're excited. No, we can't. Oh no, come and see. Something is coming. Look, a big old oil ship. As a little boy growing up in Africa, I knew my world really was within 20 miles within my, you know, from my village. I went to fetch water every day about four miles away, one way. And I went to look for firewood uh, in the woods about two to three miles away. And if I went to school, I went about six miles away. So that's all I knew. And I walked this place. I never got on the car to get any place. I walked. So the world to me was so tiny. I mean, tiny, tiny. And then one day I traveled. One day I decided to run away from home. One day I decided to go farther and farther away from all I knew. I had never been 20 miles away. Well, I went more than 500 kilometers and I ended up in Kampala and I discovered the whole world was different. I saw what I had never thought there was. I began to learn new cultures. I began to learn new opportunities, but I began to see the world that it was much more than I thought. And the way I thought, the way I dreamt, the way I wanted to be changed because I saw more than what I knew as a child. And so being a foster dad, I've learned that, that even our kids, most of them, they have never been, you know, beyond their town or beyond their city or sometimes even beyond their state. That is my goal to give them the same experience that I received as a kid growing up in Africa, that I got opportunity to travel, not just to Kampala, but I travel over the world. I have been in more than 101 countries and I've been in every state in the United States and I've seen the most amazing things in the world. And my worldview absolutely has changed and has given me ways to dream better and to see the world of what he has that I can pursue, that I can be part of. And I want my kids as a force of that to have the same. We might not go to Africa today. We might not go to Paris tomorrow, but at least we can begin where we can. As foster kids, again, we are restricted on how far we can go as well. But sometimes they allow us to travel within the States. So this time, I was so excited to take my kids to Florida. It's a few States down the road. I mean, we have to go through South Carolina and then Georgia. And then we are in Florida. So we're really excited. Why? Because I want my kids to see the world beyond of what I've seen, to see what they can be, to see the potential they have in life, but also to see that there's so much in life that they can truly be. But also an amazing opportunity to bond as a family. And so I'm excited. It's gonna be a long ride for me as the only driver. But for sure for my kids, I think it's going to be fun. And I'm not uh, worried about anything, but I'd rather I'm excited about what we're going to see. I know they are nervous, but I know that they're going to see things that they will love the most. But two, that they get to tell the stories to their kids, to their parents, their families one day. And I'm so excited to take them on this trip. And this is my first time I've taken Anthony in most places in the United States, but I've never taken these three and I'm really, really excited. So I can't wait to show you what the journey. And so 
let the journey begin.